Good uh, morning guys, welcome to, uh, sorry, <laughs> welcome to today's video. We're just starting our day, it is holiday Monday, it's a holiday, and it is a rainy, dark, dreary day. So I thought I'd show you guys how we start our dreary day. We start it with coffee, but who doesn't drink coffee? You. Yeah. Mama does not drink coffee. And Sam is making pancakes. Yeah, so pa pancakes. Pancakes is not something that we eat on a regular basis. Actually, Gabby and Sophie will eat it uh, rarely. But I never eat pancakes, but I'm having pancakes today because Sam's making them, chocolate chip. Even though it's super rainy today, I have plans, things that I was thinking about while I was supposed to be sleeping that I wanna do. There's a couple of things, so we're gonna take you guys with us to do that even though, though it's raining. And I want to show you guys what I wake up to every single day. The life with dog. Every day I wake up to this. You may think, how did the coffee table get all over the place? Maybe somebody moved it. Nope, it's the dogs. They chew up toys every single day. I have been making a blanket so that I can have some nice blankets, some like throws um, for my blanket rack. So I started this last night. I love it. It's so soft and squishy and, and nice. And I left all the extra wool upstairs. Somebody went upstairs last night. And, or this morning and brought down wool so there's wool everywhere they take toilet paper out of the bathroom and eat it there's a roll there that somebody picked up there's a roll on the ground half eaten they don't swallow it but they chew it to bits but yeah this is my life every morning what what do you want you want your hair done so you can see better what is it she's jumping on me to tell she tells me stuff what do you want what do you want what is it Tell me what you need. Okay, watch. I won't pay attention, and then I'll see if she jumps up and tries to get my attention again. <laughs> what? What do you need? What is it? Don't mind her messy hair. I'm in the middle of getting ready to shave her. It's just that a lot of things keep popping up that I need to do instead. What do you need? Do you want food? Do the dogs have food? Mm -hmm. And there you go, more toilet paper. I don't have food, so Sophie is in charge of giving the dogs food, and Gabby's in charge of water. Sophie, you need to give the dogs food. My dog is hungry. <laughs> anyway, welcome to today's video. I'm excited. I don't know. Sometimes I just wake up excited and hyper, and I slept in. <laughs> oh my gosh! Sophie! Feed the dogs right now! Hurry up! <laughs> Did you guys see her standing on me? Me. Right, she's got food now. Let's see if she still does it. I think she's gonna still do it. She's not even eating. She's not even eating. She's just following me around. What do you need? What is it? Just spit it out, sister. She has food now. I don't know what she's looking for. But every morning, Daisy sleeps in her crate, and every morning when we come downstairs, Ellie tells me to let Daisy out. And then when I don't let her out, she runs upstairs and she wakes up Sam and tells Sam to get let Daisy out. So then Sam comes down and lets Daisy out. All right, well, you can give it to the chickens. So, how do I pick it? Just pick it. So all of Daisy our- Daisy loves tomatoes. Yeah, all of our little tomato plant, they are starting to turn red. Give me, give me. We have a bunch of them. This one's yellow. Right yeah, those ones will be red in a couple of days. This little area right here had no grass when we moved in and we're trying to grow grass. And all the rain, and I mean, this is a pretty high traffic area. And it's still growing grass really well. But today's weather, like it's cool and dark and rainy, gets me so excited to have a fire and to burn wood. The last two houses that we had did not have a fireplace. And we're used to a fireplace. Look at everybody standing up tall. They're like, hey, <laughs> let us out. Who wants a tomato? Yeah, who wants a tomato? Do you want it? She's like, what is this? from there and flew down to here. Okay, 
she's scared of the horse behind us. She gets like, it's her goose nature. She gets very protective. Stop. I don't want you to fall. Okay, holy moly. That's how I always drop them. All right, so you guys have spoken and you told me what to do. Oh, she's like, I've been waiting all night. Can you close that other side? You guys told me what to do to protect her duck and her goose, so I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna show you what I have planned. But I wanted to show you guys Zoe's feathers. Do you see her feathers on the top there? Yeah. How they're not like all flat. Is that normal or is that, she's she's a cross between that kind of goose that has those big curly feathers. What are they called, a piss? Episcopal. Episcopal, we can't remember. But is she gonna grow big, huge, curly feathers or is that just how geese feathers look? But I really wanna know because we're starting to be, think that she's gonna get some curl to her. Guys, look how cute Widow is, Widow. Widow's so cute. Look how cute she is. Hold on, is this? Widow, oh look how cute. any mysteries in this wall. Last night we were down here, Sophie and I, and all of a sudden she discovered two crazy things and we were like, whoa. Something this opens up? What opens up? Yep, that's one. That opens up. Did dad do that? It doesn't fully open up. So. It does. She showed me. She lifted it all the way up. That's stupid. Okay, so anything else? Come on over here. All right, so we were over here. And all of a sudden, Sophie goes, oh, look at this. <laughs> Do you see it? Like, there's so many mysteries on this farm. Things we don't even know about. Another magic door. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. I know, it's crazy. I'll show you something else I love. All right, so. I go, I go the long way. <laughs> All right, that's the door to Narnia. That is the door to Narnia. Okay, so the thing that I like too, I think I showed you guys before, but I always forget and then I turn on the light when we come down at nighttime. And I love lit up barns at night. I can't wait to come and do a nighttime. Do you guys wanna see a nighttime vlog? I mean, we've done like, we've done, you know what, I'm gonna do it. Maybe I'll make a TikTok or a short video of it, but I'll show you guys our barn lit up at night our farm, how it's all lit up at night, what everything looks like at night. Put that on my list. But I love that. So anyways, we're waiting for Sophie. Gabby and I just carried some tires down and Sophie's like, ah, ah, I have to bring them in a wagon. <laughs> we're like, whatever. Now she's gone back for the other one. So we're gonna use these tires and put something over top of it so that they can climb up. And for now, we have a lot more plans, a lot more things that we want to make for them. Especially some stuff that we're going to do in their stall for the... It's a completely different tire. I know. Oops. Do you think it's not going to work? Well, not the red one. Oh. Probably one. Oh, well, that'll work. I love it out here in the, in the rain. I've been out in the rain more this year than ever before. First there was the horse show where we got soaked. <laughs> You got soaked. You were wearing a rain poncho. I was riding. Yeah, that was amazing. Loved it. We just sat there and got soaked. And then we've been out in a rainstorm with the horses. And then we've been just like out in the rain a lot. It's just fun to come out here in the, at this house. <laughs> Thank you. Sophie brought down this little piece of wood that she found. I was using it in the barn for like a stepping stool to step up and hang stuff up. 
But she thinks the goats will like it. I think the goats aren't going to care. They're nervous of Molly, who's never been in here before. Oh, that was so cute. I tried to get Molly to back up on camera. And she didn't do it? She didn't do it. We'll do it now. Come here, Molly. Come here. So we have way more pieces of wood than this. So All right. Put her on it. Yeah, put her on it. She doesn't even care about being held anymore. I know. She's such a sweet girl. She's scared of the dog. Yeah, they're all scared of the dog. <laughs> she's like, oh, she's like, I'm the king of you now, dog. She's not scared now. Blossom, awesome. Woo! <laughs> that was Molly. That was a, that was a buck if Molly, I ever saw go. one. Get, go on up. Go up. <laughs> Molly's like, oh, come up here. Yeah, yeah. Hi, babies. So the reason that we put it in here is because they hate rain. You guys know goats hate rain, and. I thought it would be something fun that they could do while they're stuck in here, but they currently love the thing that Sophie brought. <laughs> they're not even interested in it. It holds four goats. Let's see. Gabby yeah. wants to know, does it hold humans? The goats are probably heavier than Gabby. Stay down. Tilly. Matilda. Wait, I don't want to fall. Get up there, goat. I mean, Gabby. Um, help. <laughs> help. 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 You're Molly up. It holds. Molly up. Call her up. No, get, get away. <laughs> Molly, come out. Molly, come on up. I'm falling. She's shaking it. Molly's scared of the goat. Get down. Gabby's trapped by the goats. <laughs> Stop. Get down. It's the bitter, so I can't handle. It moves. It moves. Yeah, that's okay. It's sturdy, though. Like, it moves a little, but I think it'll be okay. Oh, look here. I can't. Look at that. What'd she do? She's still on the standing. Oh, good girl. Oh, they love it. I get out. I can't wait. Whoa! Uh, that was not good. Oh, that's so cute. So I want to use this area, actually the other side of this area, to take pictures this fall with my family. That's that's the big reason I'm not cutting all the weeds down because the goats are just not cutting it. All right, let's go. It's hard when they push you because the parents jump on you and they're all jumping on you and then you fall over. Here. I think my contraction's cooler. Takes us time. She gets so offended when they jump Go up, up Molly. Go up. Oh, cool, cool. Ah! Hey. Molly, here. Ah! Tilly, watch out for Tilly. She That's is why I don't like the dog in here. She does not look like she can save herself. Sorry. I already um, showed everybody. All right. Uh, yeah, they probably really like it. So they don't have to go all the way around. All right, we can leave it open. <laughs> they're like, they're like, <laughs> it's a maze now. There's another gate there, so. I know. We thought we were just coming down to make them a little jumping thing. We ended up giving them a whole maze. Our we job here, treats. our job here is done. It's just something, something new for them to explore. It's enrichment. In a couple of days, we'll close this door and then we'll open it again in a week or so and it'll be more enrichment. But look, they like it. We wanted them to have something to play on in the rain. So comment below, which one of your our goats is your favorite? So this is Rocky, Tilly. The little white one over there is Rosie. That's Mocha. 
or no, this little girl here is Blossom. So we've got the three babies, which are Rosie, Blossom, and Rocky. My favorite. And then we have Blossom. Tilly, and then we have Mocha. Mocha. So which one is your favorite? Which one's your favorite? Um, Blossom. Blossom. So if you like Blossom. I also like this is Blossom right here, right here. Blossom. She's the friendliest. And I love Rocky. I don't know why. I just love him. He's my favorite. I love that Mocha has a little mini me too because Mocha is so adorable. She is one of my favorites too. To any of you guys who suggested that we put some cover over that for them, we did. But still not perfect. Obviously something can get in there still. And it's still not a huge space, but they're going to be free range. So that's why it's so small right now while they're just getting used to it. So that's not good. I'm going to have to go get something else and put it over that section. All right, so this is it for today. This is it for now. Everything we make for them is going to be temporary because very soon they'll reach their adult size and then they'll be free range. And um, we are still going to make them a stall in the goat barn so that at night they can go in there. I also want to remind you guys that it is show week. By the end of this week, we'll have hopefully gone to two more shows. Sam did make us a little gate here though. Don't you know that you're beautiful?